Okay, all my garden beds are the best on the planet. You know, these are the ones without mortar. You know, I got them, they're 32 inches tall, 8 inches each of these blocks, and then uh, filled with soil. And uh, then it has like 4 inches of compost everywhere. And these are just sweet potatoes growing here, but uh, depending on whatever you got, uh, these are all mortared in beds, are fantastic. But the point is, no matter what your uh, things are, you want to have compost for a bunch of reasons. There's four inches of compost on top of whatever killer soil you make. I make the best, but whatever you got around there is fine. And then, uh, this, look at this, like right here, you got a weed, you know, gone, now it's gone. There's no, there's no messing around. Uh, there's four inches, there's nowhere for the weeds to connect. If you happen to find a weed, I have no weeds in my garden. If you happen to find a weed, you simply pull it out. And that's it. There's no, there's no having a hoe or anything else. Mother, they, they don't root. They don't root because they're just, they're just sitting in compost. You walk by occasionally and pull it out, and that's it. So anyway, I have no weeds in my garden, but I want to teach you how to do the uh, organic slug removal, or not slug, um, uh, squash bug removal, and cucumber beetles. Okay. And uh, first off, it's nice to have ladybugs, so that's cool. But here you see a squash, a bug, okay, uh, you can see that yeah, right there. And there's a few of them, there's not very many in my garden anymore, so I want to make sure I find the ones I can see. And this is how you deal with them organically. Okay, take that thing like that, take it, put it in the soil, it's right here, okay. Push it in so you're in there about a finger's length, you know what I mean? That's it, that guy's not coming up, he'll start feeding the soil here pretty soon. And he ain't coming up. And so the same thing with uh, cucumber beetles. Uh, you simply find, oh, there's one right there. It's fine right here. Now, during the morning is the best time to do this because they fly away. You might have saw that one fly away there. And if they fly away, then they're hard to get to. But in the morning, they don't fly too good. So you simply just move around. You can see them here. And I'll see if I can find another one. I don't have very many because I control them so well. Having compost is great because you can just push them back into the soil in two seconds. All right, uh, my killer onion bed. It's another one of my mortared in beds, but look at these onions, man. They're all Walla Wallas. They're gonna be five inches wide, each and every one of them. They're fantastic. Walla Walla onions are the best, man. Again, you have to find a weed, pulls right out. There's nothing, because it's got four inches of compost. So there's nothing, just leave it, leave it right there and it feeds the uh, soil. It just goes back into the ground so you don't lose anything at all, even with weeds. Um, anyway, let me go ahead and keep trying to look for a um, squash bug or, or uh, cucumber beetles. I already showed you the squash bug, but I can find a cucumber beetle here somewhere. Uh, I, don't I don't have very many of them, so, oh, here's one. Right there. Okay, yep, right there. See that? See him right there? I was, ba I was making babies, so now he's gone. And uh, there was two of them hooked together on that one. Yeah. Oh, look, we got a, we got a pair of mating ones there gone. Oh, look at that! Another mating one. See that? And where'd he go? <laughs> His <laughs> little suckers. Again, in the morning is the best time to get them because then they don't fly around so much. They're not so active. You know, here's look at that. They're mating right there. Right there. Just pushing right down into the ground. And that's what's nice about having so uh, killer uh, compost. Putting four inch of compost is great for no weeds. Look at that. Not a single weed anywhere. No weeds grow because they can't uh, they can't hook to anything. There's no dirt to hook to. So it makes it a pain to have it. Look at that. So you have them right here. These are a bunch of uh, um, you guys making babies there, like that. Push them down into the ground, and uh, I, it's hard for me to push them down and watch watch the video camera too. So I'm hoping you saw that. And uh, so anyway, assuming oh here's one right there. You just like that and push them back, and that's it. Now they're part of the soil. And uh, they're, they're, they're going to go ahead and eventually decay and be part of the uh, solution, not part of the problem. So anyway, that's the best uh, organic way of doing cucumber, beetles, and uh, squash bugs. Just simply push them right into the ground. And uh, you're all set. So get yourself a bunch of compost, put it on top of your soil, 
and uh, plant away, everything's great. And uh, it's great for two different things. One, getting rid of weeds, so there's no weeding. And the second thing is uh, getting rid of cucumber beetles and squash bugs. You just push them right into the ground. And the ground's super soft. So again, if you see any weeds, you just occasionally walk by and pull them up, leave them right like that. They dry up and just become part of the uh, solution. I have a blackberry bush that's grown from my neighbor's yard here. And i got to get those things sprayed, but you got one coming in my garden bed because of that. But again, you can just pull them, everything out because you have great soil and with a bunch of compost on top. All right, so anyway, I guess I'll move along. So uh, if you have any questions, put them down below, but it's just a matter of finding them and then push them into the soil. So go get yourself some compost and do it organically, all right?